Hello, everyone. I'm Rich Thayer, Documentation Manager in the Service Provider Technology Group. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of our Hidden Gems in Cisco IOS podcast series. This series talks about useful Cisco IOS features that most customers have but don't use, features that you might not be aware of but that you could use to be more productive and to make better use of the devices and software that you already have. In today's session, we're talking about digitally signed Cisco software. This is a little different than other hidden gems we've discussed. Uh, It's more of a value-add intrinsic part of iOS, but it's a worthy topic for this series. Joining me is Rick Williams, product manager from Cisco's Network Software and Systems Technology Group. Welcome, Rick. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Rich. Glad to be here. So today we're talking about digitally signed Cisco software. Rick, can you tell us what that is? Sure. Uh, First, network administrators are familiar with the fact that Cisco IOS software is available for download on Cisco.com. And for years, the software has included MD5 checksums and an MD5 file validation feature. It allows you to check the integrity of Cisco IOS software image by comparing its MD5 checksum value against a known MD5 checksum value for the image. MD5 values are available on Cisco.com for all Cisco IOS software images for comparison against local system image values. But now we're moving more to digital signatures and automatic integrity verification of the software at load time. This is to make things easier for customers and to increase security. How did this solution come about? Well, the network is essential uh, to today's business operations. Without highly secure, available, and robust communications for voice, data, and video, video, uh, services such as inventory, billing, sales, trading with partners can be adversely affected. And therefore, people are becoming increasingly concerned about software integrity. And that includes software running in embedded devices such as routers. Well, with these increasing concerns, uh, how will will digitally signed software help Cisco customers? Well, it helps our customers make sure that the software running within their systems is highly secure, tamper-free, and originates from the trusted source as claimed. Well, that's interesting. What factors drive digitally signed software and software integrity verification? Well, there's really three main factors uh, that's driving the verification. The first is a new version of the Federal Information Processing Standard uh, called FIPS 140-3 that's being introduced by the U.S. government. This standard requires software to be digitally signed and verified for authenticity and and integrity before loading and execution. The second is Cisco's continued focus on product security. This is to provide better protection from malicious software or malware in Cisco products. Digitally signed Cisco software adds protection against installing and loading software that has been corrupted or modified. And the third is counterfeit protection, which assures customers that the equipment they purchase is authentic. Is this available on all Cisco platforms uh, and in all releases? Well, not all of them yet. Uh, Cisco continues to improve the technology available to verify and validate the origin and integrity of system software for Cisco products. And our newer products have been outfitted with software verification technology. And software is being digitally signed using highly secure asymmetrical public key cryptography. Customers will be seeing many more products with this technology. Well, that's great. Uh, Which new Cisco products running Cisco IOS uh, offer support for digitally signed software and software integrity verification? Well, the new uh, Cisco Integrated Services Routers Generation 2 family of routers that includes the Cisco uh, 1900, 2900, and 3900 routers. All contain digitally signed Cisco IOS software images. 
And, of course, future products will also support digital signature verification. Is there any action that I would need to take to get started? Well, not really. As a customer, uh, you really don't have to do anything at all. The system operation is largely transparent to existing practices. There are some minor changes in system displays that reflect the use of digitally signed software. How would I know if I had the software? How is it recognized? Well, you can tell by looking at uh, a, a three-character extension in the image name. Uh, the Cisco software build process creates Cisco IOS image files that contain the .spa or .ssa extension in the file name. This is based on the signing key that was used to sign the images. When you see the Cisco IOS image name and see this extension, that means the software has been digitally signed. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Rick, where can people find out more about digitally signed software? You can just check out uh, cisco.com slash go slash iOS. Thanks for joining us, Rick. Uh, you've been very helpful. It's my pleasure. And we invite all of you to subscribe to our Hidden Gems in Cisco IOS podcast series to watch for future podcasts. From all of us at Cisco Tech Docs, enjoy exploring these hidden gems.